Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and in this video I am going to talk about some of the limitations in this tablet. I am also going to talk about the note taking and PDF annotation. The first thing that I want to mention here is the stylus that I am using with this tablet is Amazon Basic Stylus. So this stylus is working perfectly fine with A7 Lite. Light. The next thing that I want to mention here is about using the handwriting tool or using the pen tool. So if I open the Samsung notes and then for example if I want to open a new note okay and then here for example if I want to use this pen tool okay so when I try to write here with this pen tool sometimes it got missed and I am having difficulty in writing okay so this tablet does not support active s pen okay like other samsung tablets for example like samsung s series tablet so this tablet does not support active s pen so you will have difficulty in using this pen tool the next thing that i want to mention here is about palm rejection okay so for example if i rest my hand on the tablet okay like that and then now if i try to write something okay so you can see i am unable to write okay so this tablet does not support palm rejection technology so you can see i put my hand on the tablet and you see these kind of spots over here so you cannot rest your hand on the tablet uh, the only way you can do is you have to keep your hands away from the tablet and then you can write if you want to write so this is the second limitation now let's talk about the note taking so for example if you want to take notes um, the rest of the tools are working perfectly fine okay so for example if i go down and if i try to write something okay so you can see i can use this text tool if uh, you want to use the highlighter the highlighter tool is also working perfectly fine we have different highlighter options available over here so you can see over here you can use different highlighters uh, you can also use the eraser tool if you want to erase something okay and then you can also use this selection tool if you want to select something it is also working perfectly fine uh, for example if you write with your pen okay so for example if i write with my pen and you want to use this change style uh, tool so you can do it as well you can change the style if you want you can change the thickness you can change the color so for example like that you can change it okay so this is how you can use these tools the next thing is if you want to export your notes you have uh, six different formats available so you can see save as file option and then you have notes file pdf file word powerpoint image and text file so you have six different formats available the next thing is if you want to drag any image or any text from google you can also do it okay just take out this edge panel okay and then uh, select the samsung internet browser from the edge panel so here is the internet browser i will open it in the split screen like that and then if you want you can search any image on google so here you can see i search some images on google so if you like any image you can easily just select it and then you can easily drag it like that into your notes okay and then you can also uh, edit this image you can rotate it okay you can change its size its position as well okay now for example if you want to bring any text you can also do it okay so for example i open any website like this one and uh, you have some text okay so you can just select it like that okay like that and then you can easily drag and drop it into your samsung notes like this okay so you can see over here now i will just make it in the full size okay uh, the next thing is you can also um, do the voice recording so for example if you want to take your lecture so you can use this voice recording option so it will start record any voice okay and then in the meantime you can take your notes as well okay like that and then the recording is still going on if you want to stop it you can stop it from here okay the recording will be saved automatically if you want to insert any kind of templates you have different page templates option you can see just select it and here you can see you have templates with the line 
okay like that and then if you want you have the other options like grid okay so like these dots so different formats available you also have the pdf format available as well so you can see like this format with uh, like a calendar okay so you can use these formats as well uh, the next thing that i'm going to talk about is pdf annotation so when you go outside the samsung um, notes when you go outside of your page you have here this pdf plus icon just select it so once you select it here you can select any pdf file okay so for example i select this pdf file and then i press done and this pdf file will open in my uh, samsung notes okay like that okay so you can see now uh, what you can do you can do all the editing over here for example if you want to uh, use this highlighter tool okay so you can use a highlighter okay so like that you can highlight anything in your pdf okay and then if you want to use this pen tool you can write here on your pdf okay you can use the eraser tool okay and then for example if you want to write something okay so you can also use the text tool okay so like that if you want to write you can reduce its size like that and then here if you want you can write here as well okay so you can do a lot in the pdf annotation as well uh, you can also insert any kind of image okay so you can see you can insert another pdf into same pdf as well uh, the next important thing if you want to add a blank page in this pdf you can also do it just select this page sorter option okay and here you have all your pages in the pdf so wherever you want you can add any page so for example you want to add page here so just select these three dots and here you see this option the first option it says add page so i just add a page so select any page you want for example like this page i want so you can see after this page the next page is here this is a new page and here you can take your notes if you have something important you can write here related to your pdf all your work you can do over here okay so uh, this is how you can add the pages uh, once you finish your pdf annotation select these three dots okay and then you have again six different formats available you can um, save as notes file pdf word powerpoint image or text file so this is about the pdf annotation in samsung notes there is one more thing you can do you can use a, uh, another app you can download it from play store name of the app is zodo so you can see over here this zodo app just select it so basically this app is for pdf annotation and it has more tools available uh, for pdf annotation so for example i open this pdf file okay and then you can see so now for example you can see if i scroll down i have different P pdf pages uh, i will make it bigger so here is my pdf file so you can see over here so uh, you have more tools available in zodo app compared to uh, samsung notes for example you have this underline tool you can simply underline anything so like that you can see and then if you want to use this highlighter tool we also have this highlighter tool okay you can use this then we have this uh, like a squiggy tool okay so for example if i go down okay and then you can use this tool as well okay so you can see and then if uh, you want you also have the shape tool so if you select this annotate option from here you have all the different tools available um, uh, in your uh, zodo app so for example if you want to use uh, the shape tool okay so there is a draw tool so here you can see this is the shape tool okay so different kind of shapes you can create in your pdf if you have something important you can use this one and then we have fill and sign tool if you want to sign anything you can create your sign over here you just select this option create signature create your signature over here then press done and wherever you want to insert your signature you can do it like that so more tools are available you can explore it there are a lot of tools i made a separate video about zodo docs you can also watch it so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much